go on to student questions. You know, entrepreneurs go through times and times and go through this question. Should I continue my business or should I stop? I don't know if I should go on or stop it. You know, the confusing point. Uh, when do you think the entrepreneur should stop or continue through this question? So the question is, not every day it's sunny. Some days it rains. There are ups and downs in any entrepreneurial life. I think uh, Seth Godin wrote the book The Dip, and it talks about it's always darkest before the dawn. Yep. It's also always darkest before you die. So how do you know when it's a crap day? Is it another crap day in front of a line of long crap days, or is it the last crap day and goodness is around the corner? How do you advise entrepreneurs? So I don't think that there's any way to know. Okay. So what, what is most important at that moment when you're struggling and it's been difficult thing after difficult thing and you start questioning whether it makes sense to go on is to pause and to just hold the thought in your mind for a little while, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, as you're continuing to grind through what's going on. Because once you have the thought, the mistake is either just to deny it, just push it away. Nope, I'm going to run this thing forever no matter what. I'm never going to quit. There is no quit. Quit doesn't exist. That's a mistake. The other thing to do is to react to the fact that you're having the thought and all of a sudden go in a spiral. So if you hold the thought and say, maybe this isn't working, and I have two paths. Path one is to keep going and try to make this a good thing. Path two is to call it a day. I'll tell you a story just briefly in terms of uh, example of that. For me, <clears throat> I had a really, really difficult year in, two th in 2001. Um, virtually all of the companies I were, was involved in were having trouble. Many of them, and that I was an investor in, failed, shut down, ran out of money, couldn't keep going. And that year, I was involved in about 10 companies that failed. You, you know, you have that, you, you, you chill out, you watch some TV, you listen to some music, you go to sleep, and you say, before you go to sleep, tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up, it's going to be a new day, I'm going to start over. In June of 2001, I realized every day had been worse than the previous day. And I changed my mind. Instead of saying tomorrow's going to be better, I decided the best way to deal with this conflict and the stress and the struggle and this misery was, let's just see what the world's got for me. Bring it on. Let's see what you're made of, world. And I changed my mindset around this struggle that I had. That led to a second decision point, which is the notion of holding it in your head. About 2003, I'd gotten through all this crap, and my world had stabilized, but the venture firm I was part of was pretty messed up. And I was very, very, very unhappy with it. I was unhappy with the firm. I was unhappy with the dynamics and where we were heading. I, wasn't, I was one of the founders, but I wasn't really the leader. And I, I didn't play a leadership role, even though I was involved in it. And during this period of time, I, I thought very, very hard about quitting. And we had four original founders, two that had left, and, and uh, one that was still there. And the one that was still there was the one, other than me, was the one that was really the face of the firm. And during this period of time, I spent about a month where I imagined that I had quit while I was going through my day-by-day -day work and how I would feel. And at the end of that, I concluded that I didn't want to quit, that I wasn't comfortable being the third founder to leave and not having at least taken a shot at getting it to a better place. And so I doubled down my effort and involvement. But by holding it in my head for a month rather than reacting, I mean, there was a day... I actually remember driving home and being on the phone with a friend where I'm like, I'm quitting today. Like, I'm, I've, I've, I've had it. I'm done. And, you know, and then I got home and I'm like, nah, you know, I just need to, okay, I know what that feels like, but I'm not sure I'm ready for that. That's how I'd approach it. Great. Uh, sure, thanks.